Hi guys, Leslie here. Um, I'm going to show you how to use Vigilink um, because some people in the group were asking how do I make my link for Vigilink. So I'm approved for the Disney store. You know, whatever store you're approved for, you would just go to that merchant's website. Okay, so for me, I'm going to pick the Disney store because that's who I'm approved for. I couldn't get approved for the Disney store like by using their affiliate program. So Vigilink was an awesome alternative to that um, because Vigilink approved me, um, which meant I could use the Disney Store links now um, just through Vigilink. So they would take a portion. So I'm not going to get as much, but still better than what it was better than not having it at all. So I would just pick what um, the product that I want to link to. In this case, I'm going to go with Anna, I guess, and I'm going to grab this link up here. Um, and this is the direct link to this product. I'm going to take it over to my Vigilink dashboard um, to where it says anywhere. Um, and it says create a link. I'm going to paste that link that I just copied for that costume and I'm going to build it. I don't shorten my link. I think you can if you want. I don't do it. Uh, I'm going to copy that link address or you could just hit the copy button. I'm fancy I guess. And that's your link. Okay, That's your affiliate link for that store. Um, using Vision Link, okay? So, and then I would just link to it like I normally would. Um, open in a new window, and now that link will take you to the Anna costume. Another cool thing that you can do, um, let me go home. I was playing with that earlier. Oops. Okay, so you can create, You what you can do is if you want to use, say, this image, you can use easy product displays to help you uh, create it. I'm going to hit create product displays. And uh, it's been doing this lately, so they'll fix it. I'm sure it'll be a good chance for them to see it on my video. Um, just give it a second. It'll load. Don't let it scare you. Um, it kind of scared me at first, but it's no big deal. Um, and then the page will load. This is not Amazon, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my buttons off for Amazon. Um, I'm going to do it globally. You can just do it one by one or globally. So I'm just going to go to my settings. I'm going to turn off the buttons because I don't need the button. Um, and you can choose to show the product name or not show the product name. That's up to you. That's a visual thing, so that's up to you. Um, I'm going to paste that that URL that I got from Vigilink. Vigilink, I always call it Vigi. Uh, I'm going to paste it there where it's asking me for a product URL. Then I'm going to go get the picture by right mouse clicking over, whoops, by, pardon me. Oh, hold on. Minnie wants to chat with me. No, let's chat later, Minnie. Okay. Copy image address. Go over to product image URL and paste that image address. Okay, this is my costume. Uh, you can buy something fancier if you want. And it pops up, okay? If it doesn't pop up, it's just because you need to pick a display size, okay? As long as all three things are filled in over here, it'll pop up. But if you don't have a display size picked out, it's not going to pop up, okay? And I always like to pick from the flow side. Um, me and Flo are friends because she's pinnable. Okay, so I'll wait for that. That hasn't been popping up nicely for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get the code for this. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to take it over to that post that I was playing with. And I'm going to paste it over in the text editor. And then I'm going to go over to my visual side. And there it is. Okay, so that's one way you can go ahead and just get the image and the link um, together. Okay, you, you can do it however you want. Um, you can ask Easy Product Displays if, they, if you want a button. You know, maybe they can do something to help you because they do have a lot of predefined buttons um, to pick from. If you take a look here, Disney Store is not one of them. I don't use it often enough to, you know, bother them to ask. But if there's like a button that you know you're going to be using all the time, it doesn't hurt to join their help group and ask them if they would create that button for you. Okay, so um, that's that's also an option if you wanted to have um, a buy button. Okay, so that's it. I hope it was helpful to you. If you don't have easy product displays and you want easy product displays. Um, I'm going to put my affiliate link down in the notes for you. And if you liked this video, it, I would appreciate it if you just click like. Okay? Hope that was helpful.